Hello everyone, welcome to MS Active Webcast. In Azure Active Directory portal, we can disable an active user account instead of deleting it. Just like checking the account is disabled option in Windows Server Active Directory on premises. In this video, we will look at the steps to disable Azure Active Directory active user account using block sign in settings in Azure Active Directory Admin Center. We need to access and log in to the Azure Active Directory Admin Center. You can access it using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. On dashboard, I'm going to click on Azure Active Directory. We are using the user account with global administrator role for this video and that we can verify here. Under manage, click on users. We can see the list of all user accounts in our Azure Active Directory tenant. Click on the user that you like to disable. For example, Parita Borda. Let's click on it. The profile page appears. Click on add it to add the profile information. Scroll down to look at block sign in option in the settings section. Toggle block sign in option to yes. If already user account is blocked, then you can unblock the sign in from here. To do so, you just need to toggle the block sign in settings from yes to no. That will unblock the user account and user can sign in using his or her Azure AD account. Here, we just want to block sign in for our user Parita Bota. To save this, click on the save button. We got the confirmation message, our user Parita Boda's sign in has been blocked. To test this, let's open new in private window. Type URL HTTPS colon double slash my account dot Microsoft dot com and press enter key to access user account homepage. Enter the UPN address of Parita Boda, which is Parita B at msftwebcaster.onmicrosoft.com. Click Next. Enter user password and click on Sign In. We can see the message, your account has been locked. Contact your support person to unlock it, then try again. So the user is not able to sign in to. If you have blocked the sign in for the user account, even after successful authentication, the user must not be able to sign in and you will see the message that your account has been locked. So user is not able to sign in. Now let's unblock it. And again, we will check whether that user can sign in or not. Let's go back to the Azure AD administrator web interface. And again, I'm going to toggle the value from yes to no to unblock the sign in for this user Parita Boda. Let me save this. We get the confirmation message that successfully updated Parita Boda's profile. Now, let's again try to sign in using Parita Boda's account. Let's go back to that page. Uh, let's go back. Enter the user's UPN, which is going to be Parita B at msftwebcaster.onmicrosoft.com sorry dot com click next enter user password and click on sign in and this time without any issue Parita Boda can access his account to sign into my account web page so that's all for this video that concludes the video on how to block and unblock user account sign-ins in Azure Active Directory using Azure AD Admin Center. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.